Now for a little hammer. A wee Bosch hammer. An old Bosch GSH 27. This is an old brute of a machine. It's not really a hammer, I can go, it's a breaker. Proper breaker. No year up on it. But she's actually made in the USA. Don't often see that in Bosch tools. Now, let's see what she's doing. She's jumping, but she's not hammering. Nothing. Right. Now these things aren't the most difficult thing in the world to work on, but everything's just big and heavy. Even down to the chisel. It's actually a fresh chisel that's on it too. All we can do is just get under here, see what's going on. I'm not going to be doing a full service on this because there's not much of a full service you can do. It's not like a smaller hammer with O-rings on the piston and striker. This piston is one big lump of steel onto a striker. There's no O-ring in between. The piston wears out, you run to about four or five hundred euro just for the piston. They're not cheap. So hopefully this thing will just need a bit of a clean out, some new grease. Make sure all the components are moving freely. The piston needs to be replaced. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. This thing's just too old. It looks too expensive for the part. It's been a long time since I've been open anyway. Some sort of an oil leak here because this one's covered in oil. And there's oil up here, so there's something getting out. It doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. Well, a bit crusty there. We might get out handy enough for this. Let's see, it could actually just be the grease could easily just have leaked out. It does seem like it might have done. Or it could be just too old and dried up. Either way, we might get away with just cleaning this and putting new grease on. That's the piston. Right enough. There ain't much grease in that. Right. We might get away with giving us a quick clean and re greasing it. There should be a good layer of grease inside of this, and there just ain't. It's all hardened up. La just too old. Right. 
clean this stuff down, put grease on it, rebuild it. Now this is going to be the main problem. This is the piston. One side is the striker. And she ain't really moving. She should be sliding up and down. Hitting this here striker bolt every time the piston goes up and down. She's moving a little bit, but not much. through the parts washer see if we can get her loosened up a bit she's not coming out yet she's starting to slide now it mightn't seem good that it's that tight this actually is a good thing. It'd be far worse if this was just dropping straight out. I mean the actual piston's worn out and no longer making a crack seal. There we go. Yeah, bone dry inside. That's the problem. That is quite literally your hammer. That's what's making the kick. That's what's literally hitting your chisel. Piston goes up and down, throws us back and forth, and it hits this hammer bolt, which is actually striking your chisel. So that is where you're getting all the weight for your breaker. Right, give us a good clean out, and give us a good clean out as well. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Good but cleaner. She's looking clean. No more old grease. It was all gummed up inside of here. You actually had to scrape it off. It was that thick down in there. No wonder there was no grease going around. It all dried up. Now, you just need to get it back together again. Just make sure you don't damage your piston. At 450 quid, it's not something you want to be replacing. Even when these machines are done and worn out completely, don't throw out the piston. Take it out, slice it down there, well done little handle, get the manliest cup ever. Right, see what we can do with this. Initially, just before we do anything else, we get a bit of grease on here. It's going to take a lot of grease. We'll just get some on here now, just to start off. Just make sure there's plenty of heavy stuff in that needle bearing. So that was all washed out as well. So that. Back onto your crank. I'm going to do a wee mixture on this. Heavier grease is better, but it's easier spread with a paintbrush. And this paintbrush just happens to be clean. So I'll use that. Make sure it's well on there. And the same on your hammer. That's what we're looking for. 
a spring if that hammer drops all the way down it's worn out that night it's a nice spring action see the hunter on the piston or the hammer it's nice to see that build it now with confidence Mind you, it will still drop out, so be careful. Make sure you get your o ring on first, holding in your pin. It's just a matter of locating it and putting it on. Inside of here should be 120 mil of grease. It's quite a bit of it, but it does need to go around the whole hammer, so don't be stingy on it. And do make sure every surface is coated as well as having that 120 mil. A little extra on there. We'll slide this back in. Trying to keep everything nice and clean. It's tight initially as she starts sliding. That is a big breaker, so it should be getting a lot of vibrations. So do put on a wee touch lock tight onto the bolts. Make sure they don't back out. And lastly. Hammer bolt. Washer up here, and your spring. And make sure we've got plenty of grease on the O-rings. And that slides up here. Your tool holder around them. Again, plenty of grease. And even inside the chuck. I can only go back on one way. There's only three bolts in this. The same as these bolts. Put a wee bit of Loctite on. That should be her ready to go. Give her a wee test now, see what she hammers like. A 
that's her ready for work. It'll keep getting stronger and stronger now the more that's actually running. As you can hear whenever she started off she's fairly quiet wasn't making a loud hammer. Then within a few minutes of it running the actual new grease inside starts getting dispersed where it's need, needed to be. You can hear the hammer getting stronger so after about half an hour this year running she'll be at full strength again. That's her. A lot better than what she was anyway.